Hi everyone, it's Sherry the Creatives Marketer from creativesmarketing.com with another video tip to help you get your marketing percolating. Today I want to talk about branding yourself online and three tips for doing so effectively. The first is to remember relationships first. The internet is an amazing tool for connecting and marketing and getting your message out there. But first, primarily you need to remember that when you are marketing online, you need to build the relationships. It's just like when you go to a cocktail party. You don't just go around to everyone and hand them your business card. Well, actually some people do that, don't they? And we don't like to see them coming. So what you need to do is to um, know the target market that you're trying to reach and then engage them in conversation before you hand them your business card. Get to know them, help them to get to know you by information that you share. And then by all means, market your products or service um, using the 80-20 rule. So 80% engagement, 20% selling of yourself is a pretty good rule to follow. The second tip I'd like to offer you for branding yourself online is to use your um, graphics and your logo and what other identifiers you have consistently. So for me, I use my photo as my logo, um, and perhaps you might do the same. So if I used a different photo in on Facebook and on Twitter and on my blog, you wouldn't instantly recognize you recognize me, which is what I want you to do. And the same is for you. If you want your clients or your potential clients or your target market to find you and to know you and to see you when they see you online, use consistency in your photos, in your logos, and any other um, branding that you use online. My third tip for branding yourself online is to engage regularly. You can't just write a blog post and walk away. You can't just set up a fan page and never um, engage people. You can't set up a Twitter profile and tweet once a month and expect to get anywhere. Just like relationships in real life, <laughs> in real life, um, you must build them steps at a time so that people get to know you, get to trust you, and get to like you. And when they get to like you and find value in your product or service, they will buy from you. They will buy into your brand. If they don't buy personally, they will become cheerleaders for you. Um, helping you to market your products or service to other people that they know would benefit from what you have to offer. So I hope you follow those three tips for branding yourself online. This is Sherry the Creatives Marketer with creativesmarketing.com and I hope that I help you to get your marketing percolating. I'll talk to you later. Bye.